Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy player here. So today, I'm actually going to showcase my project, which is a student performance analysis system. My project focuses on developing a web application for teachers, basically lecturers and module leaders and course leaders to help support their students by using a predictive system that makes a prediction of students' grades based on internal factors like attendance, their attainment to classwork, the hours they sleep, some are external factors as well and some of this could have been improved at the time but you know it is what it is. You you stumbled upon this video to find out what my project is about. That you will be finding out my friends. So right here you see is a web project. It's your typical login screen and you can see I'm very sloppy because on the bottom here I couldn't figure a way how to adjust the horizontal and vertical of this format to orientate or fit with any other web application. I still do got a long way to go when it comes to HTML or CSS when I'm when I'm using JSF. But right here I did get a login system working so there's different navigations as you see on the left hand side where I can log in as the administrator or which is this username right here the password is the same by the way so if i click enter key i'm in the admin page and i can add access all of these entities and manage it so all the accounts here the courses that are already on board i'm going to be censoring some of this stuff so don't worry if you can't see any of it it's for confidentiality reasons really right here is the um, performance of students in their modules you can go between pages currently I've set the default value as P so this is pending right now if I change it for example I don't really have to change it but I have to edit if I click save it will predict this student is going to get an A plus my program uses the G48 algorithm and if I show you in the, um, the artifact report I can't really show you because I haven't installed the software, but basically I use Weka. My bad, my bad. I use a software called Weka to actually deploy the work and show you what I will demonstrate you once I actually find it. Okay, after a bit of time I finally found the Weka part. So this is where I actually set it up the software. It's a bit mad, but... I had to make some configurations. I had to use an SQL viewer to get my data set. I had to use two different data sets. One where the class values were known. This is the prediction grades. So A plus all the way down to an F. And then the unknown values or the unsupervised values or whatever they're called. And once I did that, I got my result. So for example, it takes attendance, workshop attendance, study hours, module interest, coursework progress, test progress, predictions, things like all of this into place as factors to draw some conclusions. I'm going to show you my SQL script. I'm going to show you my SQL script right now. Feel free to pause and just take a look, but it's a lot to take in. But you must have seen some of my other videos if you haven't i normally say contact my snapchat or instagram if you want the source code but because this is a large scale project i'm not going to be giving this out but if you have any questions about data mining algorithms for data mining classification algorithms and how to set up my SQL with a netbeans project do hit me up because i can give you the instructions on how to actually deploy your own MySQL database onto a web application, whether it's setting up on JSF, mostly JSF. I haven't really tried anything else like Apache or Tomcat. FYI, these are our very outdated servers, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Too important, it's just navigation. Here's just the sign up page. I completely forgot the login details, so let me just go get that up. So I'm just going to log in as the course leader, for example. Here we are. Oopsie. Yeah, there's a bit of mistakes, but luckily, 
they slip by. It's not really a big mistake, but it is a mistake. So you can hear, see here that the login section entity is removed because it's only granted to the administrator level. So there's basically a hierarchy, hierarchy set for the different type of users that can access certain amounts of data. Again, I've censored this because it's it's strictly confidential. And just to wrap up this video, I'm going to just show you my final year report. Look at that. 110 pages. Your boy here wrote a motherfucking book. Literally, abstract, a page long. Table of contents, you need it. Ta list of tables, list of figures. Look how many figures. I'm telling you, the longest part was testing the software. It was like, fuck that but i had to because the deadline was coming i remember since i clicked that submit button i was like fuck you i am never doing this shit again little do i realize i have to do a five i'm starting my teacher training and i have to do a five thousand word report it's gonna be a madness but if when you've done over ten thousand words five thousand is basically nothing to you well, for most of us that is the case, but for me it feels like that's the case, but we'll have to see in the near future. Hopefully if I do make it out. As you can see here, these are just concept designs that I did implement, but not exactly as I, as it should have been, but close enough. Here's Entity Relationship Diagram, Data Dictionary, good old first year, taught me a lot of stuff. In here class responsibility collaborators had to had to design these because I was using the method of extreme programming to develop my software. Agile methodology is much more flexible rather than using a methodology like waterfall where you cannot revisit stages. XP on one hand you can. Mm, just gonna scroll through it. Okay, as you're as I'm scrolling through this, you can see it's a mouthful, especially on the testing section. But I'm gonna say now, if you do enjoy this video, like and subscribe, comment, leave a comment if you must, or personally message me on my Instagram or Snapchat if you want questions about this project of mine, and if you want more insights, maybe hints and tips. You know, those sort of stuff, because I'm, I'll am i be there. Literally, I've had several people talk, just getting responses about my Python program. Like, mostly from my university, but most of the feedback has come from there. Some, I had students from Nepal as well responding to me. One from US responding. It's pretty interesting. There's a lot of connects. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through all this, because it's all just testing, testing, testing. Here's just an acceptance testing. I didn't bother doing it. I explained the reason. Then this is evaluation of result. You just say, what was your overall investigation? And then the conclusion, mad. The summary was mad. And then just for the extras, acknowledgement. I showed ex I showed gratitude to the people who helped me. Last of all, the appendices. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is... A final year report, which is bloody damn insane. Whew. If there's one thing I've learned, I will never want to revisit my final year. That was a nightmare. And during this time of coronavirus, 
if you guys ever see this video years from now, yeah, I was doing my project during the time of coronavirus. It's fucking insane. Anyway, hope you all have a good day. Peace out.